Coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight division collision. Well, pretty much every time out in the UFC, DC, this man has put on a striking clinic, and that is his methodology coming in here tonight. He'll try to keep the fight on the field. And that's why we tune in, right? That's why we tune in. We tune in to see guys that are dynamic. We tune in for the speed. We tune in for the knowledge of the striking game, the ability to set traps, the ability to find the jab, the ability to find the right hand, the right kick, the left kick, the knees, the elbows. He truly uses every weapon that he has in his arsenal to try and finish his opponents. You make one mistake, night's over. You cannot make mistakes against a guy that has the striking acumen yeah. of this guy right here. And the jab is not as underutilized a weapon as it was in MMA, say, five or seven years ago, but he's got as good a jab as anyone in the business, and that is where all of his striking flows off of. We'll see how it goes for him in this matchup tonight. All right, well, he's one of the more accomplished strikers in this division. Sprawl and brawl, whatever you want to say, he's going to try to keep this fight standing tonight. It does not matter how he accomplishes it. All he wants to do is be on his feet and at range, hitting you with the beautiful jab, staying away from the grappling exchanges. You don't accomplish all the things that this man has accomplished over the course of his career without understanding distance. He has great distance management, which then in turn allows him to land all these beautiful diverse kicks, spinning back kick, jumping high kick, so many things he possesses that he will try to use tonight in this fight. Yeah, if this turns into a kickboxing match tonight, over. most it's people over. believe, yeah, his opponent is in a it's world over, of trouble. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Bergliata. Now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold-out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City, it's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, Fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 265 pounds. Fighting out of Temecula, California, Chico. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 5 feet 8 inches tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Fighting out of Hong Kong, the Apex. All right, give me the rules of the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, go back to your corners, come out fighting. They touch him up, and we are underway. striker versus striker. These guys have both faced a lot of grapplers in the past. They like the draw tonight. Oh yeah, they love seeing an opponent that will not be trying to dive at their legs. They know when they get to the center of the octagon, the only steps back they will take is if they choose to move out of range to re-enter back into the striking realm. It's a very comforting thought for both of these competitors. Able to check the high kick. Single-collar tie now. Game of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Oh, good head movement there. Nice slip. And they separate. All right, he'll engage in a single-collar tie. Checks the leg kick. That punch, no good. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Right hand punches the clinch. 
Look at the force behind that leg kick. Big punch lands on the top. I was gonna call this one. Back to the clinch. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Keep that pressure high. Beautiful kick. And the takedown attempt, but he does not land it. Just over three minutes to go round one. It's not over, it's not over, keep moving. Big call for first land, now he gets back to range. It's very tricky when he throws that body kick. Slips, pretty good right hand. Trying to go to the body here, unable to find the target. Oh, there he goes, attacking that lead leg to the outside. Nasty kick. Nasty leg kick. You gotta slow down your opponent. He knew his opponent wanted to move a lot tonight. This is the first step in getting him to slow down and fight at your pace. That one stuck in. Nice strike. Big body kicks. Back and forth we go! I mean, look at the commitment to kick in this fight. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Oh, collar tie. Oh! oh. Under two minutes to go in a back and forth first round here. Real sneaky body kick. Caught that. Now there's danger in that too because when you start reaching out to catch that kick, here comes the high kick. Man. And you're in a lot of trouble. Well, he continues to offer up the kick here, but just misses with that one. All right, single collar tie now. Right hand punches the clinch. Oh, and he connects there. Pretty nice punch there. Great job finding the range to land those punches. He's got to be careful dipping his head when he's throwing that jab. Oh, spinning back fist. He didn't telegraph that one at all. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Strong kick to the outside of that lead leg for him there. You do not want to eat too many of those. No, you can't. He does not wind up on that kick, but he somehow is managing to land it so much more. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. And now he's got the tie punch. Boy, tie plump. Great punch landing with so much power. All right, he engages in the single collar tie, and they separate. Takedown defense holds up. I mean, he's cutting him down the size with these beautiful leg kicks. Oh, the kickboxing chops on full display with that offering nicely done. Beautiful kick landed by this man. That horn sounds means we have reached the end of round one. All right, now we take a look back at some of the action in that previous round, DC. A lot to like on both sides, Will. I mean, both were intent on going forward. And what happens when nobody wants to take a step back? They meet in the middle. That's exactly what they did, and they both found success over the course of that round. Deep breath. Good round. That was a good round, but I need those kicks to land a little bit. All right, second round is underway. Your yeah, thoughts on what two. we saw over the first five minutes? I saw a Let's very go. competitive round. It was very strategic. I expect these guys to really pick it up as we go forward in this fight. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Well, if you like Muay Thai striking, this might be your moment in this fight as he gets the tie kick. This is a massive moment for this fighter. He is a great Muay Thai fighter. Look for him to go knee-knee and then try to land a big one to the head. Oh, nice connection there with a the punch, DC. Great time to land that punch. And he caught the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. 
Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Nice knee to the midsection there. Well, he's got the kicking game going tonight. Lands another one there. A beautiful kick, and all I can think of, better him than me. Let's go, take that. Beautiful body kick. Sound defense there as he blocks the shot. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. Oh, single collar tie here. Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more and just throw more volume. Because they don't see too much of a threat. This guy has to have confidence in knowing that when he extends his combinations, he's still safe, but he's also gonna be able to land. He's gotta be finding that confidence in his mind that all the reps in the training room are going to pay off. Blocks that strike. Oh, he's got it going now. Nice connection there, DC. Another punch landing. Oh, man, that left side is getting beat up now. Look at the redness there. Well, a really good second round for him thus far after a somewhat lackluster first round. He has found the rhythm and found his striking range. Scary proposition. Looked like it did stun him a little bit. What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Don't finish this fight. So, fight a little bit stunned, holding on to him now, not doing a ton, just looking to recover. Well, he continues to find the openings tonight. Beautiful connection with the punch there. Accuracy at its best. Well, from a striking standpoint, he has put it all together tonight. He has landed a ton of significant strikes, and it's a pretty easy fight, I would think, for the judges to score. It's a pretty easy fight to score. Tonight was a night where everything went right, and that doesn't happen very often. Ball left hook to the head, it's blocked. And he continues to work the body here. Oh, caught him with a head kick. That at least partially landed. Oh my goodness, he got kicked in the head and he's still standing. And both guys really throwing with authority. Whiffs on that offering. Ooh, head kick lands, he's hurt. Ooh, blocks the shot. Oh, and now he lands the knee. I'm not sure his opponent saw that coming. Didn't see it coming because he does such a straight job of just throwing. He doesn't have any tell when he's gonna throw it. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. There's no tell on that leg kick. Man, looks like he's trying to set records here, landing all of these strikes. He is aggressive to a fault and really has been all night long as he continues to pour it on. Got to be careful here, though, not to gas out. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Blocks the shot. And they separate. What a punch. Takedown, right, so the commitment to the takedown good. pays off. After several failed attempts, he finally gets his first takedown. Now let's see what he can do. Oh, wow, that happened quickly as the fighter reverses position there on the ground. Unbelievable position change. Wow, what a transition. All right, so an entertaining five minutes. Let's look back at some of the highlights, DC, and I'd imagine a lot of these replays are going to be rooted in that kicking game that was on full display. Absolutely. You're going to see a lot of different techniques, but the kicking was the key to him getting ahead in this fight. He's out ahead now. He needs to stay the course and continue to do that as the fight goes on.
All right, so back-to-back -back entertaining rounds. We'll see how it goes in this round. We'll see which corner sort of maximize those 60 seconds on the score. This is what happens. Very skilled, very evenly matched fighters coming together. Nobody has really taken a lead in this fight. Let's see who does it going into the next round. Well, just as he did in the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. And a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. Oh, huge block! That's a great punch. Does a lot of damage when you can hit him in the body that week. Tried to go to the body, but unable to connect. Good punch. Misses with the left hook. Oh, he lands the Superman punch. How about it? All right, boy, Ty clinch. A lot of elbows and knees could be coming from here. We'll see how he chooses to attack. Yeah, it's a very dangerous position, but an advantageous one for the offensive fighter. Why? Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Fighters exchange in the pocket here. Oh, he lands with Superman punch. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Whoa! Who's hurt? Serve him up. Go get him. All right, so a good job defensively by him here as he raises the guard and prevents any damage. Shades of James Tony. Always seeing things coming at him. He's such a great defensive fighter. Stuff to take down, no problems. Beautiful strike. Well, this is exactly the sense of urgency you're looking for. Try to take the judges out of it. He is lighting them up now. Right hand punch to the clinch. And there comes the separation now. Beautiful body kick land right under the elbow. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Straight right hand, no good. Let it go now. Real nice body kick land. Visibly limping here. And they separate. What a body kick. That's a big strike right there. Massive knee to the body land. Powerful leg kick lands. No! Oh! He needs to start looking for finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Less than a minute to go in the round. Crazy accuracy and efficiency with these ground and pound strikes here. And if you're the opponent, you got to intelligently defend or the referee's going to stop. you got to defend, but you can see him now start the game posture and the intensity at which he's throwing these ground strikes. is starting to elevate. It's starting to elevate because he knows that he can get the finish. Oh, he has landed a high volume of strikes in this round and really hasn't let up when it comes to his aggressiveness. The striking has been on point every step of the way. Careful to not gas out, but you got to like the output here down the stretch. Nice stupid punch. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. No! Seconds winding down in round three.
All right, there's the end of the round. So it was a huge strike to the head that stunned his opponent and, and nearly got him out of there. Yeah, that was a big moment. A big strike lands, his opponent's on wobbly legs. That is exactly what, what you want to see as you're walking back to your stool. Your opponent staggering back to his corner and being hopeful that he can get it back together before the start of the next round. Are you ready? You ready? Let's go fight! defense and forge right through it to get the big knockout win. All right, DC, no Telestrator tonight, but we're going to get you some highlights from this one. This was a fight that had it all, and for my money, his best performance to date. His best performance to date in the biggest moment. In the biggest moments, you got to show up, and that's exactly what he did tonight. He used every bit of his skill to get the job done. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliata has called a stop to this contest at 48 seconds of round number four. The winner by the right, so there he is, the man of the hour. What a massive knockout for him to get this win in style tonight. He did everything he needed to do to find the knockout. Now he can celebrate with his family and friends as they earn this spectacular victory.